Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi, and welcome to my very first video, a satisfactory Fixmas Factory tour. So all the items along here are for personal use and do not go into any other production line. They are used for decorating purposes and construction. That includes these here and the colourful baubles just on this corner. From here on all of these items are production line. So we lead into colourful baubles candy canes Christmas wreaths and the final product the Wonder Star same happens along this side. All of these items are for production line leading up to the Wonder Star. I do not remember how long it took me to build this factory, but I have a total of 2,000 hours in Satisfactory and just hit 1,200 for this world. There's the giant Christmas tree, surrounded by rotating presents. This is just an outside view of the factory. The red area is where conveyor belts come up. And in the distance there you can see my conveyor highway. Just a view of the front. This is the coal power station. It runs the Fixmas factory, completely independent of the rest of the world's power grid. We have a total of 40 coal power stations, 20 running on compacted coal, 20 running on just coal, the factory does not use more than 2000 megawatts. And these are just the assemblies that make the compacted coal 
alternative recipe and this is my very satisfying view of my left hand side nice slim clean build allowing the smoke to exit through the top and over there you can see the right which is identical and here is underneath where I just keep the mess up. the logistics belts splitters pipes just to hide it away to keep the top of the factory nice and clean and tidy Here are the water extractors providing the water to the coal power station. I've left some room for upgrading in the future. That's where the sulfur's coming in. And this is the Polar Express. It brings all the items created in the factory back to the main battery for storage and this is a support pillar for the Polar Express which houses the train line all equally spaced all the way back to the battery We'll just speed time up here so that you uh, don't get spooked. Here's the main factory. And this is the Lizard Dargo House. train passing overhead and then moving on to Central Station these are all my reindeer dargo can't get them all in the frame cheeky buggers and these are all my items come on these are all my items copper bauble snowballs which are actually explosive white baubles or iron bauble wonder stars the most expensive and difficult to make product Christmas tree pieces bows blue baubles Snowball piles, colourful baubles, candy cane. The red ones were copper baubles. And this is a view of the Polar Express as it passes over the Dargo House. storage container in the corner is where all my nuclear waste goes that the lizard dargos give me as a present from time to time it then gets taken away to a far off location for storage and we'll just finish this bit with uh, passing around a loop again You'll see just on this corner there is some snow coming down. Hypertubes to go to other location. The 
giant Christmas tree, allowing the sun in so that it doesn't die, snow coming down on the train track, presents going around the Christmas tree, Reefs just there. Come on, Duggos. This is the spiral. You saw the train go up hill now. And here comes the Polar Express to go up the spiral and move on to the main factory. What appears to be lag isn't, it's just how the game runs from time to time, especially with the train. And just the Polar Express returning home after a long journey. These are future videos. So thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and notify, and thank you for watching, this has been a Caterfly production.